This video is brought to you by MathGalaxy.com. This is our fractions program which covers these topics. And in this video we'll be looking at subtracting fractions with different denominators. As when adding fractions, when you're subtracting fractions, the pieces have to be the same size, the same denominator. And if one denominator is a multiple of the other, you can use the larger one, in this case, 8. Next, we have to convert the pieces to that common size. So going from a whole of two pieces to a whole of eight pieces, each piece has to become four pieces. So four times one is four. And the bottom fraction is already in eighths. Uh, OK, so now we have four pieces give one away, and there are three left. So this shows what we started with. We gave one away, and that's what's left. If one denominator is not a multiple of the other, we just look at multiples of each until we get to a common size. In this case, that is 12. So now we have to convert each uh, fraction to go from a whole of four pieces to a whole of 12 pieces, the multiple is 3. So 3 times 3 is 9. To go from a whole of three pieces to a whole of 12 pieces, the multiple is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So 9 pieces give away 8. We have one piece left. So these are 9 pieces we start with give away 8, and that's what's left. If we're subtracting mixed numbers, first we have to get the pieces to a common size to see if we have enough to give away. So in this case, that's 20. And going from 4th to 20th, it's multiple is 5. 3 times 5 is 15. Going from 5th to 20th, multiple is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. OK, so we see that we don't have enough pieces to give away. We have 15, but we need to give away 16. So how do we get more pieces? Well, as so we take one of the holes, in this case leaving 8, and we break it up into the size pieces that we need. So a hole can be broken into 2 halves, 3 thirds, 4 fourths, and so on. So in this case we need 20 -ths. So the hole becomes 20 20 -ths, and that gives us a total of 35 20 -ths. So now we have enough to give away. So 35 minus 16 should be 19. OK, so this shows the initial 15 plus the additional 20 pieces. And if we give away 16, what's left are 19. OK, so but we still have holes to give away. 8, we have 8, give 6 away, we have 2 left. And that is the final answer. What do you do if you don't have enough pieces to give away? Well, you still borrow. So here, we could take one of those holes, leaving 6. And since we need fifths, we'll break it into five fifths. So now we have five pieces, give away three, we have two left. So those are the five we started with, gave three away. Okay, and now we have to give the holes away. Well, now we have six holes, give six away, and there are none left. If you want more review and practice, you can go to mathgalaxy.com. The program has two modes. One talks you through problems step by step. 
the other asks only for the final answer. And when you exit the final answer mode, you get a score which you can print. And for each problem that you do, you earn a robot which you can use in a maze game called Labyrinth. This is an example of the mazes where you guide a robot to gather treasure and try to get out safely. The uh, maze looks a little compressed vertically because of the different screen, screen sizes between the game and the video, but in the game it's not compressed and everything is more square and regular. So these are examples of some of the other caves and mazes. It's so like here, you have to gather all the treasure. And the mazes are generated randomly. So in a traditional maze like this, they'll all be different. Yeah, so let's try this one. So okay, so we made it out of that one. And so another example more of a traditional maze. So you have to watch for falling boulders. You also have a laser to blast through walls. Okay, and uh, another game is a riddles game that is like Wheel of Fortune. You can have up, up to three players. So you're given a riddle, for example, here, why did the jelly roll? And you can choose to solve the riddle at uh, the beginning or end of your turn, or you can guess a letter. So like here, since it's subtraction, E is always a good one to start. Three-fourths minus one-fourth is one-half. So E should go there. And let's pass there, go into player three. And A is well, one and five sixteenths minus one half. So we have to borrow, this will give us 21 sixteenths minus eight sixteenths. So that should be 13 sixteenths. Okay, after solving a few more letters. I think we're ready to solve this now. It saw the apple turnover. So let's see if that works. Okay, so it did. And another game is called Bridge the Swamp where one player, and you have three board sizes, red is trying to build a bridge in this direction. Green is trying to build a bridge in this direction. And the first player to complete a bridge uh, and block the other player wins. So example, green goes first. Let's say if it wanted four and three fourths. That looks like five and a fourth minus one half. And if red wanted to block it with seven, so that would be let's see nine and a half minus two and a half. So that's a review of the games that come with the program. This has been a review of subtracting fractions with different denominators. If you want more review and practice, you can go to mathgalaxy.com. Thank you for listening.